Welcome. Please come to your seated position, easy pose, Sukhasana. And I was reading this morning about how this is an external hip pose, which it is, um, but how that it relates with pigeon and figure four and deer pose. Um, take a moment with it. Mix it up from time to time, which leg you're bringing in first. So we're trying to let the hips relax externally. You can support yourself by elevating your pelvis to give yourself more room for your hips to relax out to the sides. And you can also bring support under your knees if needed. So we're drawing the heels towards the midline of the body. And with that awareness, the gesture I just made, that's starting to draw the spine tall and to wake up the subtle core. Rest your hands onto your low belly, sitting gently tall and relaxed. Just let your belly relax. Breathe into your belly, breathe into your hands, inhale, puff it out. Exhale, let it come in. Now create a little stillness there and breathe above it in your ribs. Nose breathing, gentle sound. Exhale, nose. So the exhale gently reinforces the stillness in the low belly. Inhale, rib cage. Exhale, navel center. One more time, close your eyes, focus on that so that you can keep that awareness in your pranic center throughout the practice. Removing your hands, bring them up into the air, move your wrists and hands. Meditative mind starting to come into play. So with my eyes closed as I feel my wrists and hands and all those bones. Now add the upturn of your face, let your eyes open if they close, energize your reach with an inhale. Move with your exhale, hands together and down, lifting the sternum slightly. Rest the arms into your torso, bring your chin down. For one, really allow the lengthening of your neck, heart and mind come together. Exhale, lift your chin, breathing in for the own. Down and centered, soft gaze. Breath, bringing together a breath. Bandhas, which is the stillness in the low belly, and drishti, which is the focus of the eyes. Let those elements anchor your practice. Heart lifting pose, bring your hands back. I usually do this with my fingers forward, but if you're more comfortable with your fingers turning out, you can experiment. Just find a way to lift up your chest and open the front shoulders. You can do a little lift of the chin as well with the down gaze and free the legs from the cross position. Let them come out, stretch your tops of your feet, lift the chest, stretch your toes. You can do a little foot exploration here. Three, I'm into stillness, breathe twice more. Press hands, open front body, and five. Tilting upright, infinity pose variation for a side bend, taking the left leg across the right, hook the feet together. Stay on your hips, but roll to the side of your right hip and leg to your own degree. Bring your arms to the outside and let that lower side of your body find a little stretch here. Two, it's a bit of a subtle movement. 
One more time. Inhale back to center. Other side, cross, hook, roll to the outside of the leg and hip to your own degree. Sit up tall. So the arms find a position where you can stay lifted in your torso and your shoulders and gently stretch that underside of your body. The lower side. One more time, breathing in, breathing out, release back to center and pull your legs back into easy pose. Arms up, breathe in. To the left, breathe out, turn with your torso strength into easy twist. Let's wrap the back arm behind the waist today. So thumb down, slide your elbow behind, gaze back. Nothing is forced. Just reminding you of those basic principles of the practice here as we get started. Ahimsa, no harming. One more time, remember your eyes stretch to the side. Follow inhale energy, grounding into the legs, up to center, big reach inhale, and then the torso turn. Come to the other side, sliding that back arm. So palm back, thumb down, behind your waist, hug your waist, gaze back one. In twisting poses, we need to allow the belly to turn. We can keep a subtle stillness there at the same time. One more time. Follow the inhale back to center, reach up. Fingers at the center of the forehead. Glide them out to your temples and down your jaw. Hands together. Exhale. Coming to the tabletop pose. Enjoy the transitions. Take, take some time to find yourself here to starfish your fingers. to find the stillness in the low belly and this little plank pose. One, tops of the feet make a connection. Two, three. Try to have your neck neutral with a downward face for five. Now spinal movement, let your belly go down just like an inch your navel as you bring your chest and face forward. Lift your navel up towards the back of your body and curl your spine, exhale. Four more times. Really focus on your spinal mobility here. This is core strength, the control of that movement. We're never throwing our bodies around in yoga. There might be jumping occasionally. Moving with breath and gaze one more time. E extension, the gaze falls down the nose, the in breath comes. Flexion, the gaze moves towards the navel as you curl and breathe all the way out. Neutral. Quarter dog pose. This is the yin pose. Come back with your toes tucked. If that's too much, you don't have to tuck your toes. So we're gonna keep the right arm forward and bring the left arm bent and across and rest your head down, maybe on your arm. Then soften your muscles, decide about your feet if you wanna release them and we'll stay for about a minute, about 10 cycles of breath. Hips can be high or low, take care of your knees. And remember with yin, that sensation is good, but we never wanna cause any harm, but not being afraid of some sensation in yin poses. Discerning. 
when this um, sensation becomes too great, honoring that. Exhale again. Switching just the arms. So this is getting into some of the seasonal meridian, the lung line under the arms. One, two, three, soften your muscles. Treat this as a breathing exercise. Rest your eyes. Nine. Ten. With the inhale, coming up, release your toes. Let me give you a free moment, maybe a little bit of moving your pelvis around, kind of circling the tabletop. Go the other way, bring your hips to the other side, forward, side, back, whatever you want. And then back to our little Pal um, Palakasana Junior, the plane, um, what's this called? Tabletop pose, my apologies. So a little something different, bring your right knee out to the side, so lifting out to the side and lowering slowly four more times. Try to hold yourself really steady and level. You might notice sometimes you forget to breathe if you get really into concentration and then you notice that and then you breathe. Oh, there's the other side, briefly center, lifting the left knee off the ground out to the side and down. Pelvis kind of level, try to just move your hip. Three, four, really works on stability on the leg that's on the ground and five, release into a wide balasana. Rest your arms coming off the hands and arms with any weight. One, two, Here the breath can get into the back ribs, any tension in the back of the body, low back. Downward facing dog pose. For one. External rotation of your shoulder joints. Hands a little wider than the shoulders, spinning outward. So your neck is free and downward. Push your weight back into your legs. Burn the legs, reach your heels down. One more breath. Uplift in the low belly as you come forward. Keep your hips as high as possible. Pike forward, walk as far as you can on the balls of your feet and then Bring your heels down and fold towards your legs. Catch your elbows. One. Head all the way down. Getting onto the feet here. Feel them. Try to stand evenly into them and let them spread and ground you. Ready to come up, switch your hands to your pelvis, bend your knees a bit, extend your spine and stand up. Exhale, Tadasana. Move as little as possible into mountain. Make those little refinements for two. Arrive on your feet this bright morning. And five. to the top section of your mat, looking out in front instead of right beneath, right in front of your feet. Look forward as you walk forward. If you're not already there. Sun gratitude, Surya A.
I'll do some variations for the first one. So moving with breath, welcome the sun. Inhale up. These are slow breaths. Exhale, fold. If you need to take extra ones, you do. It's okay. Halfway lift, straighten your spine. This is axial extension, toning the belly. Before you breathe out, bring your legs to back and then breathe out to plank pose and hold for one, two, so the knees could be down. Wide belt around the waist, press the hands, firm the legs, stay calm. And five. Knees down, release the toes. Upward dog, same arms pressing, but guiding the pelvis forward. Tone in the low belly, gaze down, lift the ribs. Going through the knees is one way to transition to downward dog. Puppies there if you wanna stay on the knees or knees up. Refinements and then hold steady. You can think of our animal friends, the cats and dogs both do this, where they leap in their spine. It's the gesture of the play bow for dogs. Not sure about cats with that one. One more time. Ready to pounce. Look where you're going between your hands and then bend your knees and come forward. Exhale, fold towards the legs. Inhale, stand. You can bend your knees. Go slowly, reach, reach. Exhale, comes mountain pose. Again, inhale. Exhale, fold. Your range of motion. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lifting pose. Exhale, back, maybe switch up which leg you bring back first. Plank, flex your spine, tuck your tail around your upper back, uses different muscles. Two, three, gives you something else to concentrate on. Flex spine, plank pose. Four, five, neutral spine. Upward facing dog, take your time, or maybe a cow pose. Downward facing dog, one. Bend your right knee towards the floor. Release, bend your left knee towards the floor. One more each side. Straighten both legs, breathe out. Jumping forward or stepping lightly, breathe in, come to half lift. Diffuse the energy, fold towards your legs, breathe out, feel that calmness. Standing up. Process, take your time and coming down. One more time, sweep the arms across, open them again, breathe in. Breathe out, fold towards your legs, tuck your chin. Halfway lift, your hands can come up as your spine lifts up. Exhale back, Palakasana of your choice. Just the one breath, establish it. Upward facing dog, guide with your feet. Flip your feet and downward facing dog. Sorry not to rush you there. One. Downward dog. The whole posterior line of the body. Soles of feet to forehead. Lengthening. One more time. Calm energy inverted brain. Halfway lift pose. Breathe in when you're ready. Breathe out, slowly fold in. Breathe in, stand. Reach. Return to center, pause. 
let's do a, a belly center hold with that sun salutation energy. Just take a moment at your shoulders. The sun symbolically in our bodies in the belly center, the third chakra. Manapura means city of gold, city of jewels. Feel that groundedness. Just the idea of having a sun center in your body. Golden light. Release. Feet under the hips. Utkatasana variation. Bend your knees. V reach with your arms. So the victory pose arms. Lean a little bit forward in your squat. One, two, three. Four, five, and straighten the legs, release the arms. Bend your knees a bit, not too much. Lean a little forward, holding the sides of your pelvis. Put your weight into your left foot and lift your right leg out to the side and release it back in. We're pulsing it out to Three, four, one more time, a little side rotation like we did on our knees and come back to center. So a little squat, hips down and back slightly, brings the spine a little forward and the other side, shift it to your right foot, lift your left leg out to the side, just a little is fine. One, two, three, four, five, mountain pose, bring it on back and let it be. Easy white feet for breath of, um, breath of fire. So the inhale is an open-handed upreach. The exhale is a bit of a pull down, elbows towards the sides. Start slowly. Maybe two cycles, one where it's slow and one where it's faster. I think I'll do five slow and then 10 faster if you want to do it with me or just do your own pace with this. So the inhale, exhale, pumping the breath. Leave out the pauses. Shoulder blades together and down. Pause. Second set, you can speed it up or do the same. Back to the pranic center, hold breath of fire. Legs parallel once again, feet parallel, hip distance for crescent lunge, stepping back to crescent. Exhale here, right leg back, like you're going to warrior A, but on the ball of the foot. So we could start warrior A and then pivot. Front knee is over the ankle. Take a moment, find your balance. Bring your arms up and lower your back knee towards the floor. Two. Keep the root of your big toe on your front leg, your front foot, working to keep you balanced. One more time, lower. Lift, straighten both legs, kick it out, bring the back leg through, open mouth, exhale when you're ready. Other side. Lower the knee for one. Concentration leads to meditation, leads to samadhi, which is the total absorption into the present. One more time, bend the back knee towards the floor. Concentrate. Mountain. Warrior A, left leg back. Face the front. 
Rib cage forward, pelvis lowering down the midline. Hands to the low back for a moment, just guiding it into this extension. Once the legs feel steady, let's try this. We did last week, the kind of swimming forward. Keep your lower body as it is. Up, pull it down and back. From my colleague, I got to go to a class last week. This was a fun thing to try something new. Twice more. One more. And straighten the front leg, bring the arms behind. A little bit of a wide stance, elbows lift, bow out, gaze at your forward leg, long neck. Wide stance, Parsvottanasana, four, five. Inhale, rise, release your arms, come to the other side of your body for the warrior A. To really refine the feet to settle into your shape. Pelvis lowers down the midline, spine is tall. Hands to the low back to support. So back of the pelvis really, back pocket area to guide yourself into that spinal extension. Hands forward, up and down to the sides. Two. Face. Three. Four. Five. Straighten the front leg. Thumbs down and back. Come behind. So it can be palms together, holding opposite arm or palms press. It's all fine. Fists together, good. Exhale, forward fold. Doesn't need to be far. Lengthen your neck, spread your feet. One, elbows lift. Two, creates a lot of stability. Four, five, inhale, come up slowly. Exhale, release your arms. Let's go over to the right side of the mat from here. Starting with the plie squat, turning out evenly and bending your knees towards your feet, towards your middle toes. Find your balance, tall spine, breathe out. Palms up, cross your elbows, hug your shoulders or wrap it up for eagle. All fine, that's not any better than the shoulder hug. They're both good. Find something that feels good for your body. So focusing on what feels positive for your body in the moment. That is correct. Exhale. Coming up, release arms and legs. Again, down into the plie squat. That the inseam of the legs lengthening. Find your balance. Other side with the arms. Sort out which side you did and hug shoulders or Eagle it up and lower your hips, lifting the elbows slightly. Two, three, come down nice and low in the legs. Challenge yourself gently with that. And then to come out, press feet, squeeze glutes, come up, open the arms. And now let the heels ease out to the wide parallel stance. Bend your right knee towards your toes for five breaths. Lateral lunging. Bit of core strength to this as you support your torso with this lean. Press your foot, straighten your leg, come up to center. Exhale, watch your knee go towards your toes. 
So this is all moving in the same direction. Add a little weight with your hands. Two. Nice axial extension of the spine. Four. Five. Release. Exhale, slow forward fold. You may bend your knees and rest your arms on your legs or carry on coming down to open it up for your favorite. So there's the ankles, the big toe hold, hands to the ground. Just let your spine find length, breathing slowly. Observing the uplift in the pelvic floor and the low belly. That subtle core work. Make your way up in one or two breaths. You can come halfway and then come up again with the next in breath if you like, or just all the way up. Exhale. Warrior B. Take your left leg to the front of your mat, bend your knee towards your middle toes. Not holding back on this stance, make it as wide as it will go comfortably for you today so that you're, you're working towards bringing that front leg parallel to the floor. Reach out your arms, long spine, and then turn your neck, gaze off your front fingers. One. Inhale here, exhale to extended side angle pose. Stay on the leg or go to the floor inside or out if you like. Eyes do an up stretch to look out at the hand. No strain in the eyes, but they're part of this practice. Exhale. Warrior B, make your way back up to that shape. Give yourself time for the transition and then the reverse warrior form. Keep the legs, go back, gaze down. Gaze to the palm. You could do another little up stretch with the eyes. Or but down the nose if it's more comfortable. That default is always an option. And five. Release. Bring it out, step it out, and give it a spin. Turn around. Other side, step out to the wide stance for warrior B. Pivot, bend, lunge, nice and low, whatever that is for you today. So we try not to work the shoulders too much here. I can feel a little tug across my chest, broad chest and upper back, head turn. One, release any effort that's not needed. Five, breathe in and then out into extended side angle, inhale. Try to just move with your breath into the pose for one, two, Three, and be patient if you're developing, learning the pose, if you don't know it very well, give yourself more time, it's fine. It will get very cool like that. At least the way I look at it. Come on up, find your stance again, your B warrior, and then into the reverse form. Down gaze or the up gaze. One more time. Release out of these actions. Find your way back to the top of your mat. Exhale. Finishing practice with a tree pose of your choice, including figure four. Come by the wall if you like. We'll do about eight to 10 breaths. 
Do your best, shift into your right leg. Left leg is out to the side from the hip, so all kinds of ways to work here. And it is okay to be around your knee. Knees are strong. You're not trying to push your knee sideways. Your, your leg is strong and straight, so don't be afraid of using that middle level branch. Anyway, come on in. I'm gonna do the figure four. What do you do, what do you would like with this invitation? Find a steady spot for your eyes. Don't be disturbed if you need to reset. Seven. Nine. Find your center. Coming to the second side. So keeping the elements of your centeredness as you bring yourself off center and make your choice for this side of your body. So the figure four above the knee, you can add a squat if you would like. Something similar to the other side. Two. Soften your gaze to a steady place. And eight. Nine, ten, come up, release, have a moment as you unfurl into your mountain, start switching the weave of your fingers back and forth, sense the energy, Press forward, keep it kind to all the joints involved. Here, lift the rib cage as you press up. A little side stretch right. Go into a range of motion that feels good. Up and over, slowly, range of motion, other side. Center, gaze up, breathe in. Bend your elbows, slip your hands behind your skull, a little standing back bend. You rest your head, lift your chest. Inhale, upreach. Forward fold, exhale. I'm gonna step my feet back into mountain on the way down. I'll see you in your most comfortable version of child's pose, feeling free if you're restless too flow through when one of the up dog, down dog sets. And then coming for child's pose, yin style. So just letting it be a sustainable version of Balasana. It's okay for the arms to tuck along the sides of the body or to just rest elsewhere. It's like we're gonna get to a little, little speed form of ourselves, consolidating and just curling inward, the energy of the season inward. Moving towards the resting phase of winter.
two more slow cycles. Figure out how to breathe in the shape. The breath finds a way. Let it find a way. Coming around to seated again, another chance for a little flow through if you would like and it could feel nice to come out of the child's pose with a little stretch out before you sit or if you're already sitting, it's cool, I told you to make your way there. Um, sit comfortably for a moment. Maybe with your feet a little away from your torso, like a fire log style. Crossing the other leg in front. So feet away from the torso a bit. One, two, how the angle of the knees affects the hips. Three, four, five. Butterfly pose, the yin style. The together position. Work out a nice distance between your sitting bones and your feet. And then that little, I love this little adjustment and is um, just like rocking the sitting bones to settle the pelvis and find center. Get up tall, holding on to the ankles or the feet, breathe in. Keep it soft. So unlike Baddha Konasana, we're not striving here to get our forehead on our feet or anything. We're just trying to stretch across the seat. So the energy lines of the body, a lot runs from the feet, up the legs, through the pelvis, up the back, across the lower back. Head comfortably downward. Find a way to settle your arms and hands. You can zip up your toes if you are into that practice. Does not have to be perfect. Again, working those energy lines. Okay. Let's give it about 10 cycles of breath. You could rest your chin in your hands and be creative with that. Taking the opportunity to rest your eyes and to have that time with inward energy present with yourself, your body, inviting your thoughts to settle, to notice them and gently ask them to settle. Think about your breathing. And feel the space of the mind open as you do. Another slow cycle of breath. Slowly, slowly. Come out and have your choice of where you'd like to go. Perhaps an easy lean back or even all the way to the back of your body where we will make our way, guide the legs. Out of the shape is a nice thing to do so that they don't have to strain to release. Free movement and coming to your back body as you're ready. Coming into a Restful bridge to start with. Centered on your back body. Consciously relaxing the front hips. 
I think I'm going to rest my hands there for a moment just to bring awareness and warmth and noticing. Soften. So we don't have to fight, we don't have to flight. Calm. And coming up to bridge pose. One, one set, 10 breaths. Arms grounding, spine long, breathe out. Draw in the pelvic floor and the low belly into the body gently. Keeping that, that can be your meditation as you lift up. Just holding the bandhas lightly as they support this kind of pose. When the other bandha is created because the chest comes towards the chin in this pose, creating that jalandhara, the throat lock. The idea of sealing the root of the torso a light, energetic uplift. Just the energy needed to hold yourself up. Would you like to do a second variation with the arms? Feel free. Nine, breathing in. 10, breathing in. As you breathe out, keep the tone in the bandhas, in the pelvic floor. It's a nice time to work on that and feel how it supports this work. Not just the big muscles, but the small, subtle ones. And once you're down, fully let go. Learn to let go. Two, relax belly, relax pelvic floor. One more. And then return to that light stillness of that area. The low belly is connected to the pelvic floor, so you can work the low belly and it will, you will eventually connect them. All right, seated forward fold. How are you going to get up? Rock up or go to one side, yin style, forward fold, caterpillar pose. Easy going. Getting into that shape. Maybe bend your knees, it's fine. Non striving, just letting the back body have some length with relaxed muscles. You could put your pillow out on your lap to rest into, like we would with a bolster in the studio, maybe. Draping the arms forward, getting that lung meridian, one of the organs of the season. Long exhales. Breathe very slowly, twice more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Again. Take your time coming out of the shape. Easy lean back pose, relax back, lift lightly. Fold in your legs sitting comfortably. Touching the space between your eyebrows slightly with your first two fingers, or you may just use your brain 
It's a little more powerful with the touch of the nose. So seal the left side of your nose lightly and breathe in the right side. Breathe out to the left side. So there's a little suspension as you change the hold and then release the exhale. Don't force this. I try to teach a sustainable kind of count. Breathing in slowly, left side. And to the right. Breathing out. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Reversing the pattern. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Last one. Left inhale. Great exhale. Releasing your hand, breathe three times, both sides. Breathing that hand facing up, the other one facing down. Feel your hand. Slide back, take a little rest. We'll do a little bit of knees to chest to prepare. A little free movement with your hips, low back. Come out into the restorative pose of Shavasana allowing the body to rest, for all these practices to be received, letting go of the rhythmic breathing with an exhale out of your mouth. Invite your hips to relax and your shoulders to relax so that the arms and legs fall to the sides. Next time you breathe in, maybe engage lightly in the bandhas, and then breathe out, release, softening, all holding at the subtle core. Letting go of, go of any holding. Start to deepen your breath again with those exhales, finding that groundedness into the center, into the belly, reawakening that area, with each exhale. Mm -hmm. 
and bring your feet in one at a time, off the ground one at a time, to the sky at the same time. Ankle pumps, you can add the arms up too, you can do the wrists and the ankles together. Little upside down legs time as you let the light back in and let yourself hug in your knees to finish. So to come up, you can get a little momentum and rock up if that will safe to you or go off to one side instead. Tuck your chin when you go up and when you go down. Sit with your transformation for a moment. And slowly bow off in. Um. So much gratitude for practicing with you. Allowing yourself plenty of time and space. Thank you.